Hi everyone, I'm David Rubin, Director of Product Testing. And I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the Sleep Doctor. Today, we're gonna to talk about cooling mattresses for all you hot sleepers out there. Remember, temperature regulation is the most important characteristic when it comes to getting a good night's sleep. And it's hard for your body to maintain a good temperature if your bed is retaining heat. First off, you'll want to find a mattress that will help you sleep cool, and that starts with the materials that the bed is made of. The materials used to construct a mattress, including the cover, comfort layers, and support core, all contribute to how well it regulates temperature. You should also consider how much your body will sink into the surface of the bed. In general, the more you sink, the more likely it is that the bed will trap heat around your body. But it's not just the materials themselves that keep you cool, it's also the way that the mattress is constructed. Some materials, such as inner springs or hybrids, naturally have more open space for heat to dissipate thanks to their coil base. And other mattresses attempt to regulate temperature by adding cutouts or perforations to solid layers. They may also use components such as gel infusions, phase change material, or other elements designed to actively pull heat away from the surface of the bed. While these may have modest effects, let's be real. One of the biggest factors in sleeping cool is the environment in which you sleep. So is there a best mattress type that will help keep you cool? In short, no. But there are a few things to keep in mind when looking for a cooling mattress. The best cooling mattress should pull heat away from the sleeper. Mattresses can accomplish this using either breathable designs or cooling technology. Let's take a look at the different types of mattresses and how they keep you cool. Let's start with memory foam. These mattresses are usually constructed with memory foam and polyfoam and provide really great pressure relief. On the other hand, memory foam is a heat activated foam, which means as your body heats up the foam, it creates this divot or body impression, which is also what makes it so comfortable. As it surrounds you though, it's going to trap heat against your body. To combat this issue, many manufacturers add technologies such as gel infusions or use open cell designs to reduce heat retention. So why does memory foam get hot? Well, as your body heats up the foam, the heat can only go so far. And over time, think 10 or 20 minutes, that heat will begin to build up and could be uncomfortable. The greater the surface contact with the body, the more heat the bed absorbs. Next, we have hybrid beds. Hybrid mattresses generally sleep a bit cooler than their memory foam counterparts. Because hybrid mattresses combine foam, gel, or latex with a support layer of inner springs, a lot of these beds don't trap as much heat. Just because a bed is hybrid, that doesn't necessarily mean it'll be good for hot sleepers. Certain hybrids may sleep hotter than others depending upon firmness and the materials used in the comfort system. Be sure to look for hybrids where memory foam is not the very top layer, but rather gives support in the transitional layer. That will give you some of the benefits of foam without the downside of trapping heat. So again, make sure you pay attention to the materials of the mattress and the order of the layers. And finally, we have latex beds. Now, latex is interesting. It's a natural material that's derived from the sap of the rubber tree and has a very responsive, almost bouncy quality to it. Latex is sometimes used in the layers of a hybrid bed, but there are also all latex beds available. Although all latex mattresses don't have the open design of coils, they generally do sleep cooler than polyfoam or memory foam. That's because natural latex is relatively breathable and doesn't conform as closely to the sleeper, so it tends to trap less heat around the body. Many companies also use perforated latex to allow for more room for heat to escape. While the feeling of a latex bed may take some getting used to for some sleepers, they are a great option for keeping you cool throughout the night. Of course, in addition to a cooling mattress, there are many ways to optimize your temperature for sleep. Absolutely. If you're a hot sleeper, you may want to stay away from heat traps such as memory foam pillows and use a fan or air conditioning during the warmer weather. You may also want to try incorporating breathable materials like cotton and linen into your bedding. And hey, fun fact, if you really want to sleep cool, kick off your socks and sleep with your feet out from under the covers. And one last tip, research shows that optimal sleeping temperature in the room should be between 65 and 72 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're a hot sleeper, getting a cooling mattress is a great way to help reduce the heat buildup around your body. Though as we've said, it's just one part of your sleep environment. So pay attention to some other aspects like your room temperature and what you're wearing to bed. That's right. If you're a hot sleeper, there really is a way to find relief. Just follow some of our tips. That's all for this one. I'm David Rubin. And I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.